The Russian Ministry of Defense has insisted India to use the Su-30 SM-2 fighter jet to be the base for the Super Shukhoi upgrade proposal for the 200 Su-30 fighter jets, and has asked India to replace present AL-31F engines with the AL-41F 1S engine which is used to power the Su-35, that comes with 16% increased thrust, as Russia sees a rise in heavy missile armaments in the upgraded Super Shukhoi program, and the additional thrust will not compromise on the thrust to weight ratio. Russia has also said that the AL 41 F 1S engine has a better service record and lesser service related downtime, and will also take care of additional thrust required to power up all new upgraded systems. The UK government has offered the Indian Ministry of Defence the co development offer of a joint long range next generation air to air missile that will be based on the MBDA's Meteor missile, and it can be considered a Meteor Mark II variant with the addition of Indian technologies. The MBDA France has been highly secretive about the Meteor technology, and has cleared the Meteor to be used only on its Rafale fighter jets, but MBDA UK being a separate entity, both India and UK can now work on the new long-range next-generation joint air-to-air -air missile, that will be integrated on Su-30 Mirage 2000 Tejas Mark 1A and Tejas Mark II fighter jets. The Indian Navy chief has informed Prime Minister Modi about its requirement to build six nuclear-powered attack submarines on the Project 76, and officials have said that the national security planners are looking at France, UK, US and Russia as possible partners for joint development of the SSNs in India, and due to this reason Prime Minister Modi was scheduled to visit two French Navy SSN bases during his visit to France on 8 May, which has now been reduced to virtual summit. The French firm Naval Group is one of the key contenders for the SSN project, as it has offered to jointly develop a Soufran class derivative with full transfer of technology. Unlike the US, France does not have any regulatory regime that can stall the ongoing program using international traffic in arms regulations. The private sector firm New Space Research and Technologies has announced that it has successfully conducted the first flight of both the fixed-wing configuration Swarm UAV, and a scaled-up variant of the Alpha S Swarm UAV, while the first flight of the full-scale variant is expected by 2022. The Alpha S Swarm in drones are about 2 meters long, and will carry 1.5 tons of payload, and around 40 Alpha S Swarm drones can be carried inside canisters mounted under the wings of a Su-30 fighter jet. The drones are capable to fly in formation at speeds of 100 km per hour, and they scout for targets of opportunity including missile sites, and once the target is identified, the Swarm drones dives towards the site to target it. India has issued a no-time warning for the period between 10 May to 12 May, for the flight test of the 1,000 km range near Bay cruise missile that will be powered with indigenous Manic engine. The DRDO has also been working to make the cruise missile more economical by increasing the indigenous content, and after a series of successful trials, the near Bay will enter production with indigenous turbofan engine. The Indian Army has asked the private industry to design and develop at least 50 units of portable helipads measuring 25 by 25 meters, that can accommodate all types of helicopters including Chinook and Apache helicopters, and around 50% of its components must be sourced indigenously. The Army will also place an order for larger sizes of around 100 by 100 meters at a later stage, and they must be easily transported assembled and disassembled to enable Halibon operations in diverse geographical and climatic conditions.